In this episode, we have a crash with the van. I try and scare Claire through the window. We try and dodge a fire. And a romantic breakfast in the hills goes wrong. Oh. Is that sure why? What's awful? What's awful about this? And to top it all off, Claire can't even find the gloves. After a false start where Claire almost rammed the van into the back of a parked car by lifting her foot off the clutch whilst it was in gear, we made our way over the high peak towards our destination, which is the Little Mill Inn pub in Raworth. Raworth's a place that nobody has ever heard of, but we thought we'd give it a go as we could park our van overnight and sleep in it. Unfortunately, some dick thought it was a good idea to almost ram us off the road and we hit a tree damaging the van. Undeterred, we got out of the van and decided to take a look around. <laughs> so excited, he's weed on his lead. So we've made it to Raworth, but we've never heard of it, the Little Mill Inn. And uh, we did reserve it's a spot, brilliant. but there was only one spot left and we're not quite sure if it was for us because somebody had put a poofay out to say that we uh, couldn't park there, but yeah. Anyway, we're going into the pub now. Got a log fire. It's like our log fire at home. Is it? That's that dance at you. Isn't it? So what do you think of it so far? I love it. We were lucky, weren't we? We were really lucky. After a warm welcome from Charlie the dog, it soon started to descend into chaos as both dogs tried to ride each other like stolen bikes. So with it getting dark, it's time to scare Claire. hid outside the window and tried to make a jump. Didn't work as well as what I thought it would. So the food arrived, I had sausage and mash and Claire had a Guinness pie. It was one of the best pub meals we've had in a long time. Hot, tasty, pretty good value, about 16 quid a dish. But today's price is not bad at all. You can't beat a trendy receptacle to pour your gravy out of. Luckily Claire managed it without burning herself or throwing it all over the place. So after some good chat and too much beer, we decided that we'd make our way back to the van and hunker down as people do in vans for the night. The next morning we woke up to the obligatory camper van condensation and got ourselves a drink. The diesel heater's on, and we're all ready for a new day. So I've got a nice Tassimo cappuccino. I think Tassimo cappuccino in Italian means dirty cup. Because they're not very, well no, they're not very big are they? It's like it's not being washed, it's not a drink that. Right? It's just like, just like somebody's had a drink and left it in sink. <laughs> So the toilet's open at 8.30 in the morning in the pub, so I went in there to clean my teeth and get ready for the day. But before we leave, I've just got time for one more jump scare on Claire. Hopefully this time I'll be able to get her. Oh. <laughs> Did you know I was there? So this is the park up area at the Little Mill, it's mostly flat and there are some services there you can empty your 
toilet and you can fill it with water but the actual toilets are in the pub. So it's time to hit the road. The plan is to find somewhere beautiful and scenic so that we can have our breakfast there. So off we go looking for some area with a view that we can have some eggs, sausage and bacon. So after an always enjoyable drive over Snake Pass, we had our eye out for a parking spot where we could get our breakfast. I had an idea in mind, but we were a little bit later than originally planned. Well, we can. We yeah, we can. I don't know why you're saying No barbecues or, or fires. We're not having a fire. Technically, it's a bit of a fire. We're not, we're fine. We're Something fine. told me that we wouldn't be having breakfast here. Where else? We've got table and chairs there, and you'll have breakfast, can we? So, but it's a Sunday and yeah, it's 10 o'clock. No, no, no. But all no, I'm saying. Look, I know, but. Camera, camera there. I've got table and chairs. Hey. Oh, we can't cook there. So. Alright, so that's breakfast blown. Yeah, we can't Alright, so our breakfast is blown. Dr. No says no. Well, we can't, there's a car behind and there's a massive big puddle. We can't put it in the there. Back on the road. Sorry, Pablo. Anybody knows any secluded spots where we can have breakfast right now? Drop us a comment. Despite Claire's naysaying, I was determined to have breakfast outside today. She knew it, I knew it, nothing else had to be said. Except maybe one last comment. Bye bye, my Sunday walk. After trying to pluck up the courage for another snidey comment, I decided on this. We'll try and find a little lay-by. Not giving up yet. That went down better than expected. La, 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 la. Get ready to witness a masterclass in gentle persuasion. No? Do you want to stick to that? You don't have to say anything else. to Claire and it to serve yeah the trick is if you want to do that you've got to get up early because the crowds are there at 10 so there's nowhere to do it you can almost feel the tumbleweed rolling past This is nicer. I think so, do I like them both. Better than Woodhead. Yeah. I like this them both. Nice I don't know, I think they're both nice. It looks like we've got a spot. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright. We are having breakfast. So we've found a spot now. Claire's still unsure about it, but I think this is a perfect spot looking at the side of the road this is funny <laughs> it's just not sure awful. why what's awful? awful what's awful about this <laughs> listen to the 
raw. Ooh. Have we got any um, tin foil? Yeah. Oh, it's all right, I found some. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about roadside cooking. <laughs> but you wanted a really good view. <laughs> I have got one. Not a good view. It'll be gorgeous, darling. We'll have a breakfast Yo. with a view. Claire complained that she got cold hands all day and she couldn't find the gloves. Any ideas where they may have been? Roadside, roadside cooking. We should have a sign. Oh, they're doing it. See, it's catching on. They're not cooking. They're just farting. They're, they're what? Farting. Farting. <laughs> Do you like it, Claire? Love it. Are you into your roadside <laughs> meals while you're coughing? <laughs> mm. Put too much pepper in. I think you have, haven't you? <coughs> All packed up. All packed up. Ready to go, leave no trace. Well, Pablo, we're going for a, a walk now. This is going to be good. So then, Claire. Roadside breakfast, would we do it again? Yes, we would. Oh, we would do it again. Maybe a slightly better road better road than this there is no better road than this this is snake pass baby so after a short drive we ended up at lady bower reservoir for a well-deserved walk with pablo So we've got back from his walk. Claire couldn't find the gloves. Yeah, cold hands. But we found where Claire's gloves were. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <Leave my hat. laughs> End of a cool weekend. You enjoyed it? Fab time. Yeah. So yeah. the old milling recommended. Yeah. And we've enjoyed his walk around Lady Bower. A bit tired though. Derwent Dam. Derwent Dam. Fair but... holes. What? <laughs> That's how we've been. <laughs> And, uh, and that's it, isn't it? So a good weekend. End to a, a weekend. That's our Peak District weekend. And all sorted. Back to work. See you next week. So in answer to the question, is van life getting more dangerous? Well, on this occasion, we did have a few close calls driving around the hills. We did crash into a tree. We did pick a pretty dangerous roadside breakfast spot. But all in all, van life is pretty easy going. You meet lots and lots of nice people. In case you're wondering, this wasn't our fault. This is apparently done up on the hills to help with the environment. 
That's all from us. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.